Welcome to a brand new video, which will be a couple of exciting videos about studio. And uh, the first video will be uh, with the studio, you will get a free cloud management service, BDMS E. So I wanted to show you how easy it is to add the studio to the cloud management service so you can monitor it uh, you can push certain configurations to it and in the end you will be able to centrally manage those devices and if there's some changes needed it's just through the centralized management portal and you're able to push that to the rooms in this case i will use the companion app which is a windows or mac based uh, software uh, client on the pc and here you can configure a single studio with the correct settings of course in a production environment i recommend to use uh, the dhp options so when a studio comes up on the network uh, it will identify the cloud management uh, through the uh, dhp option uh, and then it will be able to hook up with the service so I will show you in this case uh, how to hook it up using the companion app uh, and show you how to configure that. Now to show you it as a standalone device and uh, how to uh, how to hook it up to the uh, to the cloud management portal uh, I will use the companion app and to download that app you need to go to support.polycom.com there you need to go to peripherals and then polycom studio. Now on this website you're able to find here a link which is called the Polycom Companion app for PC or Mac users. Please download this app and install it. Now as soon as you've installed the Polycom Companion app it will wait for USB devices to connect. And I can tell you it's not only for the Polycom Studio but you're also able to hook up the uh, Eagle Eye Mini. Uh, we have the Eagle Eye Q. So all the different USB cameras from Poly are all manageable using this uh, companion app. Now let me hook up here the studio to show you how easy it is. Just grab the USB A cable from the studio and hook that up into the PC. What you will notice, it uh, it immediately the app immediately detects the uh, the studio, and now you're able to manage it. This, so you're just able to double click. So this will open up the default login screen from the uh, studio. In this case, you need to type the default or factory the username and password. So you type in here the password, the default factory password, and you just click sign in. Now, the first option is where you can change your current password to a new password. So uh, let me do that. So you can make it a complex, or if you click here, you can make it a simple password if you want, and uh, for just uh, testing. You confirm the information, you pick your country, in this case we are in the Netherlands the device name I will leave it uh, default the uh, studio in uh, production uh, we would recommend uh, using here the name of the meeting space uh, or where the device is located there's probably already a naming convention uh, inside a company Now the next step, we can configure the network connectivity. So here you see by default the Wi-Fi uh, is uh, turned off, but uh, of course if we want to manage this through the uh, the cloud management service PDMSE, we need to turn the Wi-Fi on. So as soon as you will turn it on, it will search for a list of Wi-Fi devices which are available. So in this case let me hook this up to my Wi-Fi network. OK. 
Okay, let me join my network. And here you go. We're now connected here to the Wi-Fi. Perfect. So we can also skip this step or if you want to do that later on. But in this case, uh, I just uh, showed you how easy that is. So we go on next. So now we come into the provisioning mode. And here is where we need to configure the PDMS e information. So if you got your DHCP setup, uh, so let's say you are in a production environment setup, you probably choose auto. Uh, and auto means it will pick up the information from your DHCP server environment. Now, in my case, I will show you manually also how this can be done, as it is very easy. So let me show you. So first of all, you need to log in into your PDMSE uh, environment, your Polycom device management platform. So here you can find the provisioning information under provisioning settings. And then you will see the address here, what you need to configure on your system. I think that is very important. So this one is what you need to note. And the second one is your provisioning account password to register there. So these two tabs are very important. Make note of these and make sure you take that information back to your studio device. So you go back into your companion app and you put in all that information from your EDMSE. It's just a matter now of clicking next and your studio configuration is finished. Also what is important is you can watch your provisioning information here at the main page from the companion app. So you see here it gives a green light so the provisioning server has successfully been configured also, you will see the software version uh, running here on the studio. And now we can go back to PDMSE to find our studio and to configure it and do software updates, etc. Now back to PDMSE, the cloud service. And what you will notice is a new studio has been added here into the list. And you can identify that based on the IP address, but also based on the serial number, uh, that this is a new device. Now, what I first recommend is uh, you click on the studio, and what you can do is just make sure uh, the naming convention is correct to identify based on the room, location, etc. So, in case you got your naming correct, what you also see here is a summary of the software version, uh, the time when it was created, etc. Now, if you have already a group, uh, you can make this studio part of a group uh, where it gets certain uh, policies, uh, or you can specifically uh, add some uh, uh, profiles or configuration settings to, uh, to this studio. Uh, you can uh, find here some uh, provisioning files, some log files, etc. And also what is interesting is you can find here the last provisioning result uh, to see if uh, new settings has been uh, provisioned to, uh, to this device. Now, to create your own configuration templates for a specific studio, you go to Profile Configuration and there you filter on studio and here you will find the uh, studio configuration template and if you don't have that uh, just let me know and I will be able to uh, to share it and that contains all the parameters so what we will do is we will create a, a copy of that and then we are going to create our own studio configuration so remove the template options and we call it just studio configuration for the room. 
Now, in this template, as you can see, we have all the settings available. So the Bluetooth, NTP, uh, syslog information, the heartbeat to get the uh, configuration, the noise block uh, settings, so all the different parameters are in here. But you can also find these in the documentation. So these are really easy to, uh, to find back. Now we save this one. As you will see, now we got our own specific configuration here for our studio. Studio photo room. We need to go back to our device monitor and here we can find our Polychrome Studio photo room. We click on that one. Now we go back to the profile and here you can filter on the policies that you've been creating. So you look for studio and here you see you can find your studio configuration herder room. You add that one and you say update. Now you can execute that right now uh, or you can just execute that at a specific time. So let me just execute that one. Now let me show you in a simple example uh, how you can influence that uh, configuration. Now, as you will see, is I created this uh, hurdle room configuration. And uh, now, if we look into this configuration, what you've noticed is that Bluetooth here is turned on. Now, if we compare that with the app. So here you have the uh, companion app eh, where we can see the, uh, the settings of the uh, Poly uh, Studio. And uh, what you will notice here is the Bluetooth is turned on. Now, let me show you. Let me go back here into the provisioning environment here in the cloud. Let me turn off all the Bluetooth uh, settings. All right. And let me update it. Now I want to apply this policy right now. Now the studio will pull and uh, the uh, that depending on your configuration will pull this cloud platform uh, every I think by default every 24 hours uh, as that seems to be the uh, the polling time but now to force this I will reboot my studio to show you uh, the difference when the studio comes up again. So here you see now the Bluetooth is turned on. Uh, what I will do is I will restart the unit to let it force a provisioning update. Now after 10-15 seconds the studio is back again. We double click the studio and we're in. Now you probably need to wait as it wants to, uh, yeah, it still needs to sync with the uh, cloud platform. Now let me check the settings under the admin. So we go in here. Here you need to log in with the password. This will be the password, yeah, which is configured also in the uh, uh, in the PDMSE, so that's very important. Uh, as soon as you push out or you hook it up to your PDMSE, uh, the password in your uh, cloud platform will be uh, configured here. Sign in. Now, let me check the Bluetooth settings. And here you go. It's turned off. So this is just a quick check uh, to see if my settings, which are now here pushed out, through the PDMSE, through the policy I created, uh, it's been pushed out to this endpoint. So, in this case, uh, you can uh, create policies based on uh, on groups, locations, etc. Further, what I think is also uh, very good to know is you can also configure software versions. So these come automatically available 
through the PDMS e platform. So here you go again back to your configuration settings. So this were the location where you can set all the device information. And what you will see here is that there is an option at the top where it says software. The only thing you need to do is you go in here, you select Polycom Studio. You see also that the cube is already there uh, and you can push it out. So now you have access to the different versions. Here you just select the latest version if you want to uh, test that and then it will be ready. So in this case uh, you go down and you say to update. Now, do you want to make sure the software is ready now to download for the devices when they pull eh? or make it available at a specific uh, time? That is uh, possible right here. So I will make the software available. So if the studio comes down eh, to the uh, provisioning environment, the PDMSE, it will download this latest software version. So this was just a quick video to show you how easy it is to manage your studios through the free PDMSC platform which comes when you buy a Polycom Studio.